Hello. Good afternoon. I hope you can hear me over the music. I was kind of listening back to my last stream and I noticed that when I turned the music down to talk, I was turning it down so far that you couldn't hear it behind me. So I've tried to turn it up a little bit and now I'm trying to talk with it and I will go back later and see. I'm trying to judge by like the lines I see <laughs> for those audio mixers. Me, in fact, all right, turn it down a little bit more. It's like in my screen, it's at like a quarter. Um. So. They're going to paint today. Somehow my camera set up quickly and relatively easily. Not going to jinx it. It doesn't look half bad today and the glare seems to be a little less so. I am hopeful that that means that the light in my studio is moving to a more reasonable level. My studio in the wintertime has mm, beautiful lighting uh, because of the way the sun come in, comes in through my windows behind me. Uh, during the summer and fall and the spring, eh, I usually rely on my actual studio lights <laughs> for a lot of things, but uh, apparently my studio lights don't really like to get rid of this glare. So I'm going to take a moment to put out the paints that we need for today and pick my victims as far as my brushes go, which are of course always the standard little baby brushes, mini brushes with the teeny tiniest. You can't even see the one on the left, but it's there. I swear there. It's a lighter bristle, um, but those are my micros that I use for everything. Honestly, most of this portrait, most of this picture is just the micro, um, which is actually part of a, they're part of the Necro Pro uh, lines. So these are actually micro brushes that are specifically made for miniaturists, but mm -hmm, detail. Also, my warmies have a hole in them. I'm very sad. I mean, I'll darn them eventually now that I have a sewing kit. I finally found a sewing kit, but still. It's a pain in the butt that I didn't want to do. Ah, palette knife. Oh, I'm missing <laughs> paper towels. Actually, I have. No, I do need paper towels. All right, let me go. Paper towels. Not muted myself as I walk away. Are done, untouled. Which is mostly just for me. <laughs> All right. Now today, uh, today we're going to do the hatching. I'm going to go through and put in all the hatch marks for all of these. Uh, I still haven't color corrected this part, but that's okay. Um, so I'm going to put the hatches for all of these, and then I'm going to add more shading for the individual polyps. Um, add more of their mouths for the ones that are pointing out towards us. So that's really, that's really what we're going to focus on today. If we get farther than that, I'll move up over this side. But I doubt it. <laughs> Doubtful. So since we're going to start with just the hash marks, I just really need my two main pigments, which are my green and my peach. I'll put them out. I have an escape lid. The lid has run. There we go. Don't lose the lid. I did put my thumb in it though. Careful. Now, with the hatching, because it's such fine lines, um, this is the point where I don't mind using water to keep the paint very, very liquid. Um, it becomes very transparent, but that actually works for the hashes, uh, because one, 
They're going to get changed as I add shade again anyway. That is not where I put that paint. Put it in the right place or you will lose it. And two, they're so small that that scrumbling effect won't show up from when it doesn't stick properly to the thing. I definitely need to mix up some more background paint pronto. So I think that's going to be my homework for after the session will be time to mix up the background paint again. We're getting thin. I'm getting down to my little dregs there. And I need to mix up more, as I said the other day, before I run out so I can properly color match the pigment. Why don't you write a formula and just remember the formula, write it down so you get the pigment the same way every time. I know. That has occurred to me. Do I do it? No. Not at all. Alright. Now, because I am wearing my glovies to paint today, because it's a little chip, it's not that chilly. But I do have my windows open because it's in the 60s. But it's like low 60s, so it is chilly. But fresh air, chilly, uh, I'll deal with glovies and have fresh air. <laughs> if that's the choice, I'm going to choose fresh air and warm clothes. I had to go out and get my garbage this morning, and it was beautiful. Very refresh. All right. Time to stop talking. Time to turn the music up. Got my paint on my palette. Bam! Got my brushes ready. Now I can start to paint. Well. Now the question becomes, which one do I actually use for the hash mark? Uh... I'm going to try the smaller of the two that I have, just because, I mean, it's smaller, but this one doesn't really hold, because it is so small, it does not hold the paint as as well, but I might get a finer line. Uh, can you see that top corner? Sure. Close enough. It's a little potato, but, you know. <laughs> What have you. All right. Music is being turned up. I am muting my mic and I'm going to start in the top corner and work my way down with all of these little hash marks. Welcome to watching paint dry. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. That's actually not hashing out as bad as I thought. I just cut the music for a second. The problem with this one is that I can't really see it because I threw up too far. It gets um, really thick with the paint right at the base. And so if I'm not careful, I'll draw a thicker line with this one, even though it's the smaller of the two brushes. It's also my older of the two brushes, though. So, All right. Sorry about the abrupt cut of music. It's coming back.
if you noticed, I did switch brushes too. I switched to the other one. This one just started giving me that triangle at the end, so I'm getting uneven lines. And while I don't mind it so much on the edges because they're gonna be covered anyway, even though I need to finish them, this will give me a more even line for the rest of the picture. So back to this one.
Yeah. that one moment of having an unexpected sneezing attack. Give me a second.
I'm going to take a five minute break, get some more coffee, run to the bathroom, do all those things, and then I'll finish off all the frondles up here. Uh, all right, you can see kind of what I'm doing. Good. We've gotten quite a few of those little fronds out, and we'll do the rest of them when I get back from my walk away. So, be right back. Put that in the chat as well. Back in five. Alright, be right back.
There we go. Now you can hear me. I was still muted and just talking away. I'm back. <laughs> I've gotten more coffee. I've refreshed my paint water. Everything is there. So now we're going to finish off the mighty hatch making for this side. And yes, while everything still looks very flat, um, that will if I can do it right, hopefully, change when I start adding all the actual lighting in. Like, I've got beginning shadows down here because we know the lighting's gonna come from this direction. It comes from up there and shines this way. Um, But I also have to go in and add all the shading for like the cast shadows that the branches make. Because some of these branches sit farther forward, some of them fit further back. But I wanna make sure I put all the detail in first so that I can Figure that out afterwards. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna mute my mic for real and turn the music back up and finish off this left side hatching.
right, we've done it. <laughs> so a little over three hours and we got all the upper left quadrants hatches in. So left half of the picture now fully hatched out with all of my cross hatching. And yes, it looks a lot busier now because of it. Uh, fantastic. Because this is supposed to be looking, I, I want this to look very full. Um, and this is looking much more full than before. So next stream we have, which might be tomorrow. I may take the day off because my shoulder is kind of killing me. Um, but it's definitely gonna be again, either, uh, um, maybe Thursday, Thursday, Friday, definitely. But either way, <laughs> once we get back, we're going to go and do the right side and do all of those hatches. Once all the hatches are in, we can get into the actual lighting and shading and finalizing, finishing off the picture. So thank you for watching. Uh, it was a very productive stream today. So I'm glad I pushed through to the end and got left side done. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. Peace out. Now peace out. <laughs>